Good jump and add. I'm gonna mine. A lot. 10 XP. Per ore here. And to complete a quest, I need 15. Level 15 is about 28,000 XP. Or 11. So, 17,000 experience. Divide by 10. 1,700 ores coming right up. Amazing. And that's also probably not going to be enough, since forging is lower than mining currently. But we will start by getting 15. It's a start. Also, going to get some gems and such along the way. Yay. Luckily, the bank is nearby. The first level. 12 mining. Three to go. And exponentially more experience. And then also more mining after that, probably. We will worry about that later. There is a level. Level 12. To level 154. Okay. 13 mining. With how close this is to the bank, this is definitely the convenient part of this whole process. Especially when we actually mine the ore in one hit. When we start failing constantly, it's a little annoying. You think we would be doing we would be doing better with 13 mining. Our pickaxe is low quality though, so. It's going. It's going. 14 mining. One to go. And then I click on the tin. That's 15 mining. Yay. Pretty sure I can mine iron now. Is that something? But I'm going to not do that. I'm going to count up all the tin and copper. Get it all evened out. And then we're off to the furnace. And now, over in coin to do the smelting portion. We've got 861 copper and tin of varying quality. More low quality copper more regular quality tin, and more high quality copper. It's not off by a huge amount. So, as you get a larger amount of things, it's going to generally get closer towards the actual distribution. And it looks like it's roughly gonna be even, low and regular, and then half-ish copper. Ratio of two to two to one, give or take. Anyways, we're gonna be making three qualities of bronze bars here. So we need three bank spaces, which we don't have. So I'm going to drop some things. We've got these logs and a shovel. Have not needed a shovel yet. We can just buy that from a store if super necessary. We can get some experience from these logs now, so might as well. I'll make some bowls or something, I don't know. No, bowls are ceramic. So I'll make some buckets, why not? Get a teeny tiny bit of whittling XP. Why do you need all of these? Use whittling to craft 30 things. Achievement, fantastic. knife away and drop the shovel. We could probably even sell the shovel. Let's try doing that. If we can get one coin for it, might as well. I 
the general store. This in, sell for one. Probably cost more than one to buy that back, but that's okay. What do we got in here today? We got green slime, betonese, low quality czar moss, and fire cards. Bunch of low quality cow hides. Buy price 17, no thanks. And 2,300 low quality orange marbles. There's the shovel. You can buy back for 10 if we ever need it. I'm okay with that. Limited bank space and all that. One thing that is taking up a lot of bank space is all these gems. We got amethysts, those are new. Jade, Aquamarine, Sapphire, Citrine. You're gonna have to figure out what all those do, but all in all in good time. 15 high quality. 15 high quality. Let's go. Make some stuff. Obviously going to use high quality and high quality at the start to make the best chance of high quality bars. And then the rest until we have 861 or possibly less if we can fail but something like that this will get us some forging xp at least let's see how far this gets us each one of these is 10. that's pretty good don't think that's gonna be even close to enough for 15 forging. But then there also is the actual blacksmithing portion, so we'll see where we get. 11 forging. One down. Many to go. 12 forging. Looked into it. And the forging experience is way more than the actual blacksmithing portion. So even if we have a whole bunch of bronze bars at the end of this, they're not worth a ton of experience. So I will get to the end of my ore supply and recalculate what we need. 13 forging. And I'm almost out of ore. More mining is definitely going to be required here. Okay. All 861 bars have been made. Plenty of all of that kinds here. But the experience just is not there. In order to get forging 15, these bars are completely insufficient. Depending on what you do, it's only like two, three, maybe four experience per bar. And there's also the chance of failing to make things. So you really can't ask for too much there. So the best way forward here is getting nearly nothing from the actual blacksmithing process and just going and getting a whole nother level worth of ores it's it's still going to leave us massively ahead on mining experience compared to forging but it's about the best i can do here another mining level coming right up and then i need to take all those ores Smelt them. And then we can start making things. What a process. What a process. Mining 16. Also, the calculations were for number of bars I need, not number of ores. So we're gonna get. Hmm, we could just get like three quarters of a mining level. But having more bars to play with for making stuff, we're just going to get another mining level. 
We're gonna be two whole mining levels ahead of the forging. That's okay. Plenty of ore. So, so much. And there is 17 mining. If we look at the experience here, this is 42,000. Next highest is at 24,000. We've mined so much. So much. And we now have so much ore in the bank. Again. So, it is back to the furnace. We are going to have so many, so many bars. Okay. 740 more bars. Here we go. Again, the ratios are about what I expected. Roughly the same half. Seems to be working. As best as it can be. There's going to be a lot of bars at the end, which will be useful. 14 forging. This is definitely going to be the majority of the experience here. Honestly. How much more XP is it for 15? 5,500? Hmm. Don't have that much. Don't have that much. We will in Indeed, have to do some blacksmithing. Okay. All the bars are now bars. 1,601 bronze bars. A lot of them are low quality, but a lot of them are also high quality. So, take what we can get here. I'm going to take the low quality bars first and go make shields and sell them. Saving the high quality bars for later, for making stuff. <laughs> With the hope and dreams of high quality equipment. Whether that actually happens, we will find out, won't we? But just making a whole bunch of low quality shields will probably be enough here. <laughs> 2,000 experience to go. That's actually a lot with this portion. Making shields is not the best experience per bar, but there's also no chance of failure, and it's easy and simple. We just make some sheets. Which apparently can't fail, unlike all the other components. So, that's nice. Oops. Seven, eight, nine. And then, we take a sheet and a bar and make some shields. Ta da! With the low quality bars, we're probably just gonna get low quality shields. Although, to be fair, there is one sheet left here. There's a chance. Yep. See, we can make nine shields per inventory. I guess we could technically make one more sheet. That would just complicate things. But then we just take all these shields. We already have a high quality shield, so we don't need these. We get five coins per these, and seven for these. So yeah, we were about to make many, many shields. So let's see how much money we get by the time we get to 15 fortune. Okay, we're not level 15 forging yet. Just a little bit to go. But I have used up all of the low quality bars making shields and selling them for a massive amount of profit here 
1,304 coins in the inventory. Wild. That's just the low quality bars. We got, we got more. Oh, do we have more bars? Definitely enough to get 15. So I'm going to only use these for useful things. Possibly. We could still make a high quality bronze full helm. So we're going to give that a shot. We have a lot of high quality bars, so surely it's bound to happen, right? Right? Also a higher level forging, so maybe that'll help a little bit. That's the dream at least. But we can put the rest of these coins away. For a total of 1510. Also, a new coins image for having so many. That happened at a thousand. So that's nice. Alright. High quality bronze bars. They gleam, and they are full of potential. To make the full helm, we need a basinet, a gorget, and a visor. Preferably all of high quality, but we'll see how that goes. And to get that, we need three plates and three clasps. Again, preferably all of high quality. That is the idea here. So we could get this super quick, or we could blow through all of the high quality bars. It's entirely possible. But let's start by making three high quality clasps. Low quality to start, amazing, fantastic. One. Two, three. All right. Now, we need plates. And plates are rivets and two sheets. Okay, that's actually, that's actually more. Three plates is two sheets. That's six sheets. And three rivets. All right. Let's make some rivets. It's only one. We need... I think high quality rivets are a thing. One. Yep. So we need... Three high quality rivets. Oh boy. Three high quality rivets. Beautiful. And now we need six high quality sheets, which are two bars each, because of course they are. Regular and low quality, great. Okay. We have the clasps, and remember there is no guarantee that this is actually going to make anything high quality when we combine all this stuff together. So we're going to have low and regular quality clasps, sheets, rivets, and then also possibly plates and bassinets and gorgets and visors. Really don't have bank space for all this, but we can probably drop some things. Because ultimately we're going to want to combine the lesser of the items into other helmets to sell or something. Not the components, though. Those are not really worth much. I we just store some of these things. Store the low quality stuff for now. We can make some regular quality attempts as we go. Again, inventory management is a whole problem here. And there's there's a slight chance 
possibly, to go from regular stuff to high quality stuff. So, it could happen. It, it could happen. I sound very convinced of that right now. We have the clasps, we have the rivets. We need six sheets though, and that's a lot. Because each sheet is two. So, if everything went perfectly, this would take 12 more bars. And it's, that's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> Try to make the sheets. Let's go crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Okay. So we got high quality, whole bunch of stuff. Now, two sheets and a rivet to make plates. We got three beautiful, high-quality plates we could make here. Assuming it actually happens. Good. No. And worse. Amazing. Okay. So we got one high-quality plates, which we are then gonna combine with a high-quality clasp to make the bassinet. High-quality bassinet. It's a start. And since we have them here, we're gonna make a regular quality fastnet, I guess. So we have regular plates and regular rivets. We make a regular plate, low quality plate. Okay. Right, we got more high quality bars though. So we're still going to need Four more sheets and two more rivets of high quality. Assuming everything goes perfectly. And let's be fair, it's not going to. Instead, so we get some more low quality stuff. Great. Alright. The fact that we can make low quality stuff from the high quality bars. Terrible, awful time to be forging and blacksmithing and all this. All right, so we got regular high quality. We got more clasps. That needs plates. These are the plates, and they're all terrible. <laughs> See what else we got. And even if we get all the high quality parts, it's gonna be even a chance. Okay, low quality plates, welcome to the party. We got plenty of clasps and rivets. Let's take more bars. Now this is not even the last thing that we could possibly make with these high quality bronze bars to try to make a good thing. There's all kinds of recipes that we don't have yet. With all kinds of different massive amounts of bars required making all sorts of things with so many opportunities to fail. <laughs> Where are we at now? We need two plates. So four sheets, two rivets, and we can continue trying. <laughs> It's definitely, definitely a process. But we're gonna be using high quality bronze fall home for a very long time. So it is worth it, in theory. All right, four plates. Beautiful. It seems like things with multiple ingredients have a better chance to roll at a higher quality. Example, these rivets here. One bar. Disastrous. Wow. 
Terrible. Terrible. Let's see if we can at least make the one good plate here. Yes. Then a good plate and a high quality clasp. We already have the high quality first one. So let's go for the second one. Regular. No dice. And we don't have another rivet, so we can't make the next high quality plate attempt. So we're two out of three for regular items here. So one more. I guess we, the next one we will try is going to be the visor. Just so, so if we make a regular quality visor, we can maybe make a regular quality helmet and hope that rolls high quality. Seems unlikely. Seems unlikely. And now we don't have enough high quality clasps. So that's also a thing we need to worry about. All right. Where are some of these clasps? Inventory sink. So first we need, so at this point we need another clasp and another rivet. And then also two more sheets and another rivet also. And all this, and there's still a decent chance we don't get high quality at the end. It'd be really interesting to know the exact calculations for how likely any of this is. There's so many variables of the quality of each ingredient and if it has anything to do with your level. Definitely a complex system. Right. We're gonna need another class, so try making that. Yeah, the single bar ones are just awful times. Oh my gosh. High quality bars here. There we go. The second class. Oh my gosh. Alright, now make two high quality rivets. Or just all low quality. Regular one. Any? Nope, we get low quality instead. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the clasps and the rivets are just terrible. Terrible chances of actually getting what you're supposed to be getting. We messed up entirely and lost the entire thing there, too. Crazy. Almost like it would be better to use the regular quality bars and hope that it just randomly rolls higher. Because the high quality bars don't seem to be helping very much. Let's be honest. Not even, not even a little bit. By the end of this, we're going to have so many clasps and rivets. I'm trying to find something else we can do with that. Store all the low quality stuff. Then most of these. Slowly but surely we are making our way through all the high quality bars. Which is devastating. But if we want any chance of this, I think we need the high quality everything. Because we've seen how often it just doesn't work at all. The best chance we need high quality rivets or, or else the entire thing is going to fall apart obviously okay okay two of the four sheets the sheets seem to have a very 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 much higher chance of actually going how we want it because it requires two items there's double the high quality involved Yeah, there's one. 
One high quality rivet. Yeah, perfect. That's what I like to see. Alright. Now we need two more high quality sheets. See? That's just a good time. It just works. Alright. Make two plates. Regular and high quality. Okay. For the high quality one, the high quality clasps, we're going to go for a visor. High quality, perfect. Okay. So now we have a regular quality plate and a regular quality clasp. So you make a regular quality visor. That's the theory at least. No, it's actually high quality again. Okay, we'll save that. Not going to spend that on a regular helmet. That's obviously wrong. So we need another high quality rivet. Okay. We need two high quality sheets. Beautiful. Make another plate. High quality plate. Put these together to make the Gorget. Regular quality. Shame. Right. Okay. High quality class. High quality rivet. Low quality. <laughs> This is unfortunate having a second high quality visor. If that could have been the Gorgon instead, that would have been nice. And we technically could go for two high quality and a regular, but that's obviously not a good choice. We're going to keep at it. We're one third of the way into a second high quality attempt, I guess. Ultimately, we might run out of high-quality bars before we even get there, though, so. If we manage to make the first one, though, the other one can just be put in with regular quality, and that'll be fine. Not a huge deal. Alright. Bank with the banker. Don't need the low-quality stuff. High-quality bars. Okay. So we need a rivet and two sheets. Then that needs to become a high quality plate. Use it with the class to make a high quality gorget. Use every all that together to make a high quality full helm. There's a chance. There's a chance. This is definitely more involved than the other recipes that we've done trying to make high quality. And we also have way more bars we can throw at the problem, so I'll take what I can get. And since we were so kindly gifted the high quality plate and plate legs, we don't need to try to make that when we get there. Get that up. Recipe. I think there is a better shield that we probably want to try to make. We will see what we get. Alright, high quality ribbons. Quality sheets. Two. Perfect. All together now. High quality plate. No. And then we don't have a regular quality clasp. So I'm not going to go for that. Need another rivet. There we go. And two more sheets. No, not like that. These together for a plate. Nope. Rivets. Plates or sheets. Not good enough. Okay. But with these two plates, we'll definitely be able to make more stuff here. 
in theory, we could try for all regular into the Gorget and hope it just rolls high quality. Because if we roll, if we try to make another visor and it rolls high quality again, that's not actually very helpful. <laughs> Still. But still. We need two clasps for that. We have another sheet here, so we'll get another clasp out for that, so bring out three regular quality clasps. Give that a shot. I'll combine all that. And more bars. We don't really have bang space to put a whole ton of other things here either. The rest of these, that's fine. We got low quality of these, low quality of that. Ultimately, there will be a full helmet attempt this trip. It's gonna be a regular quality, but you never know. It might not even be possible to make better quality from multiple lower quality. It seemed to work somewhat for the smelting portion, where two regular ores could make a high quality bar. But again, exact calculations on all of this is a question. For sure. How's our speed doing? We're almost to 15. <laughs> so that's nice. Alright, we need... One more high quality plate. There we go. Make high quality plate. Yes. High quality... Gorget. Please. Yes. And then, all together, high quality, times three, requires level seven, and we are level 14. Make one. Terrible. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> Alright, we are back to having a high quality visor, and that is it. <laughs> Great. Um, well, let's make... A regular quality visor. So you can combine these. Get some space here at least. Chance? No, nope, of course not. Yeah, these can make a fascinant. We already have one of these in the bank, so we don't need another one. So we need two high quality clasps. Try again. And just the, the rates on the one bar things are just abysmal. Really not helping. Yikes. Alright, let's go sell the two failure helmets. That's what they are. They're failure helmets. For 17 each. I could get... I was selling the shields for 5 or 7. And they didn't take all that effort. Shields are definitely the way to go. Nothing to mess around with. No issues whatsoever. Oh boy. We definitely have a lot more attempts if it wasn't for the rivets and clasps. Those are destroying our supplies. What are we going to do with all these rivets and clasps anyways? If this doesn't work out for us. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> One problem at a time. And the current problem is, in fact, all of this. 200 more bars! Oh, we can store the coins here, too. Cool. 
And we still have 500 regular bars we can use later for making shields, probably. Or we could save them for making regular quality whatever other recipes we get. Or at least trying to. Can you tell I've given up hope on having any high quality bars left? Certainly feels that way. Certainly feels that way. Right. So we need two more clasps and two more rivets. Which seems to be almost completely random. But I'm sure if we brought regular or low quality bars, it would just all be low quality anyways, so. It's probably still at least helping. I hope. Nothing at all! Terrible. Amazing. One. Two. Alright. Rivets. you can completely fail from a high quality bar. Pretty absurd. Honestly, if it would give me the same chance as the sheets, I would throw two bars per rivet or clasp. You could like a superior rivet or a superior clasp. Takes more but actually works. That'd be great. stuff, you go in the bank, don't you do. Save one clasp here, I guess. Alright. It wouldn't be so bad if the final component was more guaranteed. We failed it, so. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay. 75 experience to the level, though. Maybe that'll help. He lies to himself. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have a mess to clean up here at the end. Oh, look at all these rivets. What can I do with you? Probably something terrible. Regular, high-quality rivets, please. High-quality bar, high-quality rivets. There we go. And we need sheets. Four of these. See? Is that so hard? <laughs> Everything's great. Make the plate. Worthless. <laughs> Absolutely worthless. <laughs> Alright. Regular quality visor. Regular quality helm. Yep. That's useless. Alright. Two more high quality rivets, please. Of course not. Sell this helmet. You can just really feel the lack of progress. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. And this was from getting all the way to 17 mining. All these bars. 
If you want to continue trying to gamble for high quality equipment, it'd be so much. And the the rates feel like you couldn't even guess how much ore you're gonna need. It's gonna be so much. This is just for one thing. Close to 15 though. Please let that just make everything high quality. That'd be great. <laughs> I would not even complain. All right. So we need two rivets and four sheets. Then we can try some more. Or try for the first time, I don't know. It's not going great. <laughs> Lots of bars in the inventory. As we were using up all the other supplies for all the helmets that weren't working. <sighs> Imagine this with rare materials that are hard to get. And not just the copper and tin turn into bronze bars, everything right next to the bank. Super convenient. Mm -hmm. Maximum effort required. Please, just make good rivets. Hey, there's two good rivets and 15 foraging. Fantastic. That's technically the level we need for the thing we want to go do. And also, technically, that might get us forging experience, which then, in turn, might actually make it more likely for us to correctly forge things. So honestly, I think that's worth it. We will go see if this quest that we needed the 15 forging for will allow us to get a higher forging level from the experience. We need 6,800 for the next level, so that's a lot. But to do that, we need to go get iron, which we actually can do all the way from the mining to the forging now. And then we can actually try. Well, we can, we can continue trying. But first, that quest. Next time. Goodbye.